Whoa. <clears throat> Hello, um, Quillage um, fans, and welcome back, and um, BBC3 fans, and welcome back to my, welcome back to my reviews, and welcome to my review of episode 2. Holy crap, there was a lot of going on in Quillage. Um, yeah, um, is Georgia t too deep with Jude's girls, or is it, um, Holly just mad with jealousy. So yeah, this is from um, ah, this is was like completely. I want to know what really happened off um, bef what really happened that night, the night before Faye died. I want to know this. I want to know that. I want to know. What is Georgia hiding? I want to know. This is the other one. What did Holly did when she was 11? Basically, there is names. There were names. <coughs> this was um, this was in Holly's flashback mental swing, um, where there's. A series of names, Holly, Willie, Sean, Millie, Kelly and Lisa, um, Lisa. And Georgia asks what about them is revealed they are no longer your friends with Holly because what she did. I don't know. What, what did she did? Yeah. There was a flashback. Um, yeah, um, where right there. She says, as Holly thinks, back in the time she jumped from a wall into wind water, mumbling, come back, I'm sorry, like that. Did something happen? Well, this is from Radio Times. Um, it says, did something happen to one of Holly's friends in the water? But why is she sorry about it? Yeah, why? I want to know this. Why is she worried about it? Did... I think one of her friends from when she was young... Um, when in the water and she was trying to save her Holly was trying to save one of them don't know who but yeah um but yeah I want to know why James wasn't welcome at Friends Memorial when we saw him in episode 1 the series premiere um he was uh, what did he um to say what did he say in that and yeah who is Lucas Stern? I don't know. But yeah, who is in the house of on the beach? Yes. This was like... At the end of the episode, when um, Georgia gets dropped off by the guy who always drops off the um, Clinton girls. And yeah, um, there was like... Across the sand, yeah, she goes to, Georgia goes to the sand and the lights flash on the beach where, yeah, and there's a figure um, up in the lit of the house, yeah, we don't know, but yeah, this is the other question, is Holly losing her mind, because she saw Faye loads of times, she had visions of um, Faye staring at in the um, mirrors quite in a creepy way has she lost a sign of reality naked she was naked as well but yeah it's like OMG what is she going and um, yeah what is going on I want to know that as well um, there's lots of big questions Yeah, she claims to have missed how unhappy Faye was and tells Holly she's looking out for the, her girls. I don't think so. I want to know, there, there's a lot of questions to be asked in this episode. Um, there's, um, yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of questions to be asked in this episode, I mean. So yeah, why, who is in that house? I want to know um, where did who's in that house where Georgia is going? Is Holly losing her mind? 
I think not. I think she's still. I I like how the flashbacks are going with this story, and I want to know what happens um, to one of her friends. I think it was one of her friends, or like that. But yeah, I want to know a lot of things to happen. Um, yeah, I want to know a lot of stuff. But yeah, my review. Um, this episode was good, fantastic, and amazing, of course. Um, there's a lot of questions to be answered. Um, I know, sh yeah. Holly was losing her mind. Seeing Faye some of the time at the end of the episode. Um, she thought... This was an awkward moment in this ep in the episode. Um, there was the scene. Um, Holly going back to Georgia's dorm and see, oh, okay, someone's fucking in her bed. And so, which is like, okay, this is just awkward and all that shit. So, okay, get out, piss off. This is uh, Georgia's bed. But yeah, it was like, oh my god, at the end of the episode who was in the house where Georgia is going, um, who, why is Holly, why did Holly, um, creepily, um, look in the mirror, I don't know why, there's a lot of stuff going on, yeah, I want to know what happened that night, I know, we found out that she killed herself, um, Faye did, Um, at the end of the first episode, yeah, it went to the after the events of the first episode. And um, Holly, um, I'm looking at the looking at the um, memorial stuff of Faye, and that. So yeah, that was upsetting. <sighs> Damn, took for Holly, of course. But yeah, it was a really, really good episode. I really, really enjoyed it. And fan dodgy, dodgy of the episode it was. Um, my theories are, I think what I, I I think I think Holly done something, um, which you can't forget about. In the state, it's um, what she did. I don't know. It was like questioning after question of that of them flashbacks. Um, yeah, there's a lot of questions of the flashbacks, of course. Um, I think one of my theory is I think one of her friends jumped off the um, water and Holly had to go into her and save them. I don't know why she said I'm coming, um, and I'm sorry. I don't know why she said that, but there's something going on with the flashbacks. I want to know because I know there's six episodes of this. I wanted more, but yeah, um, there's. Yeah, so there's more to come, hopefully. So I'm so Clidge, episode two. It was shocking. It it wasn't that shocking in the first episode. It was gasping, um, epic, amazing, and awesome. There was like missing pieces in the episode you don't want to miss. Um, there's a lot of questions to be answered for the flashbacks, of course, and why why Georgia is going to that place with that mystery figure in the bright house, in the lit house. That's what I want to know. Who is in that house where Georgia's going? We don't know. Um, but yeah, it was a fantastic episode. Really, really good and awesome. Um... Clidge um, comes out every Sunday on Bibs Eye Player at 10am. Um, every Sunday, guys. So, yeah, don't miss it, guys. It's going to be Whopper 1 next week, hopefully. Um, yeah, so comment down below what is your theories and um, what is your theories down below for um, episode 2. Um, I'm going to give Clidge um, a 9.5. 4 out of 10 because it was really, really good and fantastic. So yeah, give this a big thumbs up guys. Comment down below. 
yeah, so yeah, give this big thumbs up and see you in a bit for the Kieran show. Yeah, it's back for another epic episode. Boom! And funny as well. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this with you guys. Give this big thumbs up and see you soon. Bye for more epic reviews. Oh yeah, don't forget, click here to subscribe for more epic, awesome reviews like this. And click here um, for my series premiere review of Clearage here. So, hope you enjoyed it enjoyed this with you guys. See you soon for more awesome episodes like this. Bye guys. Peace. Bye.